Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hey, guys. It's Bob from Chilcoggin. Once again, I think Andrew Berry has did it spot on for a need we had. A new receiver will be, I think, that he's a proven number two or three with just the numbers he's had in Denver. And that's with bad quarterback play. And I'm just a little bit worried, but we're only having the one year. Do you think that uh, Barry will be able to get him to agree to a, like a two- or three-year extension on his contract? And as always, I want your opinions on this. And go Browns. Woo-hoo. As always, appreciate all of the voicemails. Uh, Jeff, you know, um, he hasn't lived up to the 15th selection in the first round. Um, but change of scenery. Right now he's making, I think it's just under $13 million is what he was tagged at. So, I, I mean, it, it's kind of a, a game of poker. If you extend him now and he doesn't perform, you're stuck with him. If you wait too long and he looks really good, he's going to want to test free agency and see if he can get $30 million. Well, I mean, they're in obviously a weird situation. Obviously, Amari Cooper, Elijah Moore, and of course Jerry Judy himself, all of them at the you know at, currently at the end of their contracts. Um, but you know, no agent is going to let Jerry Judy resign a contract right now. No agent is going to let Elijah Moore sign a contract extension right now. You want to go out there and obviously put your best foot forward, put your best statistical season in front of you, and hopefully that's you know basically how you secure the bag, so to speak. Um, the thing with Judy and the, the episode I had put out Thursday, I had basically gone through what was available and basically just said, look, this was the guy. You know, the Browns had had interest in the past. I've been trying to get him here to Cleveland for two years. Um, you know, but, you know, yes, 1,000-yard season, no. Two seasons, uh, over 850 yards receiving out of four. It's not too bad because he played with some terrible, terrible quarterback play in Denver, and I'm not just talking about just Russell Wilson. The quarterback play before that was terrible. Um, you get excited about this. Obviously, he's coming to a team that played in the playoffs last year, um, you know, something he's familiar with. Um, there's 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 drops. There is some times where Jerry Judy just, you know, drops some inexcusable balls. But between he and Amari Cooper, there are five guys who have over 10 receptions of 40-plus yards over the last two NFL seasons. Amari Cooper and Jerry Judy are two of those guys. It was just a f- way of finding, you know, another weapon and the Browns look they just really haven't developed a wide receiver yet and look when you're analytic you look at numbers and you know what they can look at their own numbers and say look we've drafted all these guys what has any of them done to this point and so you kind of got to may say look you know looking at the numbers that says what we've been doing hasn't been working so we got to find a different way to go a different path that then obviously now you've gotten three years in a row where you traded for Amari Cooper traded for Elijah Moore now tr- traded for Jerry Judy and basically you're in this situation where you hope they all prosper, and most likely come a year from now, you're talking about probably hopefully re-signing two of them. Yeah, and again, it's intriguing. You would tend to think because of those three, they're going to play more one tight end, one running back, and get those three guys on the field. It opens up the field a little bit more for the offense. Um, this is well, actually- and the other thing that I really like, just real quick, is is anyone can play anywhere. Mari Cooper can play in the slot. Elijah Moore can play in the slot. Jerry Judy can play in the slot. They can all play on the outside. So this should really be a way for the Browns offense to set up and just say, hey, this week we like these matchups. So this is going to be a little bit different than what we did last week. So it's not, you know, it gives each one of them to just go out there and completely be themselves, not to be forced to be something that maybe they necessarily aren't. They can all win on the inside. They can all win on the outside. 